Starting off today with the LASCOC2 filter, showing the solar flare erupting on the 24th. We will progressively pull back the field of view to the C2 and C3 filters as the flare expands out through space. Also seen is Mercury as it closes in on the Sun in its orbit. Using this CME model the flare from the 24th is mapped, and looks like Venus, the stereo A and B satellites, are in the path along with Earth, which gets a small dose of solar wind and radiation on the 28th. Now we'll take a look at the flare, that occurred today, starting with the LASCOC2 filter, and pull back for a wider field of view, as the flare expands through space. The CME model maps the path of this flare from the 25th, as it misses all the inner planets. This WSA and LIL is a large-scale, physics-based prediction model of the heliosphere, used by the Space Weather Forecast Office to provide 1-4 to four day advance warning, of solar wind structures and Earth-directed coronal mass ejections that cause geomagnetic storms. Solar disturbances, have long been known to disrupt communications, wreak havoc with geomagnetic systems, and to pose dangers for satellite operations. This model shows the geoelectric field. It shows a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integrating along the conducting pathway. This is the position of the planets today. So, eat. Sit back, loosen your belts, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.